Although World Championship Wrestling was a brand name used by promoter Jim Burnett for his Australian promotion, the first promotion in the United States to use the World Championship Wrestling brand name though it was never referred to as WCW, on a wide scale was Georgia Championship Wrestling known as GCW GCW, owned primarily by Jack Brisco and Gerald Brisco and booked by Ole Anderson, was the first NW territory to gain cable television access. Being broadcast on Channel 17 of Ted Turner's Superstation TBS, the show was broadcast every Saturday evening from 6.05 p.m. EST to 8.05 p.m. Estate. After founding his own company, Titan Sports Inc. in 1980, in 1982, Vincent K. McMahon purchased his father's capital wrestling corporation CWC and merged it into Titan Sports Inc. Under his leadership, the World Wrestling Federation WWF became the top promotion in North America, and GCW devised the name World Championship Wrestling in an effort to compete. In 1982, GCW changed the name of its television show and thus its public face to World Championship Wrestling since it was already starting to run shows in neutral territories such as Ohio, Pennsylvania and Michigan. These efforts helped to keep GCW competitive against the WWF, as both promotions had secured television deals and were trying to become national, as opposed to regional, entities. The change in name helped make GCW the top promotion once again until the WWF was able to officially leave the NWA and create the show WWF All-American Wrestling. The NWA, led by the president of Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, Jim Crockett, Jr., countered by creating Starcade in the fall of 83, the main event of which featured Ric Flair defeating Harley Race in a critically acclaimed steel cage match to win the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, which he would hold on nine separate occasions. The success of Starcade would elevate Flair to superstar status. He would become the franchise player of Jim Crockett Promotions and is largely responsible for the success of JCP during the mid to late 80s. The success of Starcade would also succeed in propelling the NW back to the top, but Vince McMahon again regained the lead with Hulk Hogan's dramatic world title victory at Madison Square Garden on January 23, 1984, as well as the creation of the television show Tuesday Night Titans. On April 9, 1984, the Briscoe brothers sold their shares in GCW, including their prime time slot on the TBS cable television network, to Vince McMahon. However, GCW's core audience was not interested in the WWF's gimmick-based approach, preferring a more athletic style. As a result, when GCW's television viewers tuned into TBS on July 14, 84 and saw WWF programming instead, they were outraged and sent complaints to the network demanding the return of GCW this day has since gone down in wrestling lore as Black Saturday. Adding fuel to the fire was the fact that, despite originally promising to produce original programming for the TBS time slot, McMahon chose instead to provide only a clip show for TBS featuring highlights from other WWF programming, a move which angered network head Ted Turner and was a major factor in his decision to discontinue showing the WWF on his network. Luckily for Turner, Ole Anderson had refused to sell his shares in GCW to the WWF, and he teamed with fellow holdout shareholders Fred Ward and Ralph Free to create Championship Wrestling from Georgia. Turner quickly secured a television deal with the new promotion, as well as with Bill Watts, Mid-South Wrestling based in Oklahoma.